So polycythemia vera is a myeloprolifer of neoplasm, and what that means is that one, it's neoplastic, and this always this often comes up in in patient visits. This is actually a technically a chronic form of blood cancer or leukemia, and so that's important to to counsel about. The reason we call this neoplastic, or the reason we characterize this as a chronic blood cancer, is that because almost all patients have a JAK2 mutation. Almost all patients have a switch that's fixed into the on position that's giving their blood cells an advantage towards growth. So 95 to 99% of patients have this type of mutation. And this type of mutation that gives a cell an advantage allows for the characterization as a neoplasm or cancer. So that's where neoplasm comes in the name. Myeloproliferative comes from the property of, or the, the major characteristic of the disease, which is exuberant blood production. The bone marrow is overly efficient. It's overly proliferative. So the main feature of a patient with polycythemia vera is a high red blood cell count. All patients should have that. Other features can include a high white blood cell count and a high platelet count. So that's the proliferation that we see. So the typical patient with polycythemia vera is a patient that might be in their 60s. It's a patient that will have identification of a higher red blood cell count. Oftentimes we'll see a high platelet count or a high white blood cell count with it. It's not uncommon for a patient to have a blood clotting event leading to their official diagnosis. To, on the flip side, because patients have blood count testing so frequently, we might identify this incidentally. It may be that the primary care doctor does a blood count for an annual lab and they may present that way. Some patients will have an enlarged spleen. Most at diagnosis won't. Many will have symptoms. Even if they have what we call a traditionally lower risk disease, fatigue is prevalent. Itching can be uncontrollable for some patients. These are even patients early on in their course with polycythemia vera. Another common feature in addition to the blood count abnormalities and the symptoms is that this is a blood clotting disease. And for the first 10 to 15 years, our major goal is to reduce the risk of blood clotting. So that's a, a principal goal for the patient and hematologist alike. These are chronic diseases. So we hope to have very long relationships with our patients and the diseases can change. Over time, after the first 10 years and the second decade, the set of concerns might be a little different. The bone marrow can scar. It can become less efficient or less effective when that environment changes. And when a patient is used to having such high blood counts, as the bone marrow a scar forms or progresses, that changes. And so we might see anemia when a patient has always had high blood counts. We also see symptoms changing. Fatigue, a bigger spleen, sweats for no reason, fevers for no reason. So it's a chronic disease that has different characteristics over time that, uh, uh, that the clinician and the patient have to be really well aware of and carefully following.